All right. Oh, let's yeah. talk about Raw for October 19th, 1998. Woo. Oh, yeah. Let's get Raw. Tony. It's my life in a box. <laughs> well, before That's we real. get into Tony's box, let's talk about some Observer <laughs> notes. Whoa. Some what do you going observe on. this time? Oh, fuck. Let's observe some stuff from October 12th Wrestling Observer Newsletter here. Uh, not a lot going on around this time, actually, in wrestling. For I went, like, a couple, few weeks around just to pick some little fun things going on. Some not-so-fun things. Here's a fun thing from New Japan. Uh, Sa the great Sasuke himself, I don't know why he put it like that, is doing an angle where he's now drinking and smoking a la Sandman or Scott Hall. But unlike in the U.S., where it's all tolerated, he was fired by the promotion. <laughs> What promotion was this? New Japan. <laughs> oh, okay. He's doing an angle by himself? <laughs> Didn't tell anybody? He's just doing it. He's just trying it out. No word on whether or not his New Japan dates in October are effective, but word is that his 10-9 New Japan date is canceled, but he's still being advertised for 10-18 New Japan show. Don't <laughs> so worry, we'll get you out here. We'll get you out to TPW. Sasuke's just doing his, just going to business for himself, smoking and drinking. That's incredible. That's awesome. <laughs> Speaking of smoking and drinking, in WCW, this week's Scott Hall rest was on October 1st outside a strip club in Orlando, Florida called the Diamond Mind, where he allegedly scratched up a $65,000 white limo with his keys, uh, making a seven-foot-long scratch, doing $2,000 worth of damage. Allegedly, while Seven Hall feet? <laughs> seven-foot-long scratch. Holy. <laughs> allegedly, while Scott Hall was doing this, the driver was still in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you let him get hey, seven yo. feet and not hey, get out yeah. of the car? How do you not get out of the car at like two feet? Get the fuck out my car. Well, yeah, well, you just got Hall is drunk and gonna kick your ass. You ain't doing nothing. Oh, well, yeah, they called true. the police. Hall was arrested on third degree assault charges and taken to jail where he was released on $500 bail. <laughs> For some reason, I thought you said Sandman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, Sandman got arrested because Hall did it. <laughs> <laughs> he arrested Sandman just because. He yeah, probably he did knew something. He was going to do something. He was going to do something, might as well. <laughs> he did not question it. <laughs> yeah, I des yeah, yeah, I deserve it. In WWF, Vader uh, will be finishing up at the end of the month as both sides have agreed to a contract release which will allow him to work anywhere in the world except WCW. It appears that it was a mutual deal. The office got on him about dropping weight and his push pretty much stalled because they wanted him under 350. Basically, when he missed the shows a few weekends back due to blood pressure problems and a potassium imbalance from crash dieting, even his supporters had given up and he's been jobbed out ever since. He, at the same time, requested a lighter schedule and it came to a mutual agreement. It was time to him, for him to leave. I just wanted to put this in here to talk about how WWF did diggity dog shit with Vader. <laughs> yeah, they did. It's, uh, -huh. uh yeah, you're right. It's very weird. Uh, it's very, uh, Shawn Michaels, if you will. Ooh, on why would you say that with Vader? Mm, uh, I think I'd but, agree. You know, because Vader went on Tony. to have a little bit of a run after that, anyways. Um, yeah, in Japan back in Japan. He goes. So. He does go back to Japan. That's that's correct. How did you feel about the Sean Vader matches, Tony? I thought they were cool, weren't they? I don't remember. I thought they were sweet, weren't they? Or not? I don't remember. Mm, well, I'm assuming they were good. They were Sean sweet for Sean. Yeah, Sean had some things that he had to work out. Yeah, but Vader needed himself. potassium, you know. So. I mean, <laughs> It all worked out, you know. In the end, okay. the right man won. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Just eat your bananas, man. What's your problem? I love, I don't that's see that's Johnny's crazy. bananas on TV. It's awesome. Yeah, exactly. That's, 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 a, that's, a, that's your problem. See, that's you know what I'm talking about, Crazy Johnny. look on that. Okay. In the <laughs> end, <laughs> Just the right man won. <laughs> I mean, just eat your bananas. That's I'm it. sure that's what Sean said backstage he every time. Quit, yeah. And well. in the end. <laughs> Everything worked out, huh? It's hard to it's hard to argue with Tony about this. Really, he's just on the money. I mean, yeah, I don't I have mean, a case against Sean and Vader. That that doesn't get me heated, but you know, that's whatever. fair. I'm pretty sure Sean would tell you that Sean <laughs> fucked Vader. I'm pretty sure Vader would tell you Sean fucked Vader, and I'm pretty sure Brett would tell you that it's Goldberg's fault. <laughs> And all of them would probably be right. <laughs> <You are correct. laughs> moving, moving on to the October 19th, 1998 Observer, uh, which was came out on the day of this episode. In WCW news, most of the Mexican wrestlers missed the TV taping in Gainesville, Georgia on October 6th because their individual contracts discussions with J.J. Dillon, yes, that's really his role, took longer than expected, and I guess nobody from WCW thought to call Arn Anderson at the building to tell him that the guys would be so late, so he was blowing a fuse waiting for them to arrive. That sounds familiar. Damien, wow. Supercalo, both Vianos, 
Dandy, Silver King, Laparkin, Norman Smiley, Hector Garza, and Psychosis all signed two-year extensions to their contracts that had eight months remaining. All received raises with the lower-ranked guys being moved up to 95000 per, and the middle-ranked guys being bumped from 140000 to 180000 Juventud Guerrero hasn't signed as he's asking for $250,000 while juice? WCW has offered him $180,000. <laughs> Juventud? Juventud? <laughs> Arne, I Down just, south, but he's on jabroni name. <laughs> Juventud? You want to sign a guy for $250,000 named Juventud? <laughs> I just thought the idea of Arn at the building waiting for 10 luchadors and Norman Smiley to show up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking That's awesome. Fantastic. And JJ Dellen just fucking didn't tell them that they're still working on their deals. He what? probably didn't know until like day of. I feel yeah. like no one knew anything. They were just kind of working. Who went to just wanted 250000 I wonder if he got it. Because he signs eventually back with them. And then he no beats way, Jericho. <laughs> no fucking way he got that. Uh, and also in WCW news, he, this is just one sentence, not uh, involved with anything else. Quote, unquote, how come they have a MasterCard for Lex Luger and not one for Ric Flair? <laughs> <That's> just, <laughs> oh, we watched the MasterCard commercial We did. Before. That's just in there. I don't know what why. The hell? <laughs> Uh, and the October 26, 98 Observer, uh, WWF News, in an episode basically lifted from a fairly unknown movie, Swimming with the Sharks, uh, Swimming with Sharks, excuse me, Steve Austin took Vince McMahon hostage on the live Raw on October 19th and spent most of the show teasing that he was going to kill him before shooting him with a pop gun, resulting in McMahon supposedly peeing his pants. Between the ridiculously bad overacting by McMahon, the silly storyline that has potentially scary repercussions, seeing 13,000 people enthusiastically rooting for Austin to pull the trigger on McMahon, and one of the <laughs> worst main events in Raw history with an Undertaker versus Kane Casket okay, match well, that was actually that... worse than their pay-per-view match the previous night, and ended in a chorus of boos when simply walked when they simply both walked to the dressing room for yeah. a non-finish. It was generally, but not universally considered, the worst episode of Raw in a long time. <laughs> Well, no. Which is crazy because well, I love this episode. We have a well. We've seen a. a but he may bad not Ross. be wrong. He may not be wrong. <laughs> I was just excited it wasn't a Taker Rock main event overall. That's what I was. It was. It was the craziest ending I've ever seen in that. <laughs> I've ever seen. At least the corporation wasn't booking raw. You know, that one was That's, great. That was fucking brutal. And lastly, in WCW news, both Hogan and Warrior merchandise can't even be given away. Warrior has asked to produce and control his own merchandise. <laughs> no one was buying dude merchandise, brother. What the fuck? Pasta Mania is dead already in 98? What the fuck? No way it's already dead, man. Damn, man. Fucked up, man. You guys could have nothing out here. You guys could have changed this for the better. But that's it for uh that's nothing else was really rocking. He just said this for all Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> well, we start off with a cold open here. Uh this is awesome. Austin was the special ref for Kane and Taker at the Judgment Day. And yes, Vince uh said, if you don't raise the hand of the new WWF champion, I will fire, fire, fire your ass. I guarantee Garen you. Gary, Gary, that's Gary, who it was. Gary, Gary. <laughs> fire, remix. fire, remix. Yeah. You, you, don't, you don't have the balls to fire all Stone Cold Steve Austin. And of course, last night, Austin double counted Kane and Taker, and said the winner of this won. match is Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm not sure that double count is legal. Who does he? He, he, he double counted and like then a he was the winner. How many years has it been in the referee rule book that the referee can just say he won? That's awesome. Double double count on two guys down, and the winner is him. Who is <laughs> the ref. It wasn't a, it wasn't even a ten count. It was a three count. Like it was a one, pin. two, three. I win. But nobody was on top of each other. They were just well, laying there. Vince has had enough. Stone Cold, screw you. You're fired. Screw, screw. That's the most iconic you. line ever. <laughs> when he said, yeah, when he said that, I remember that fired. just like it was as a kid. They Me played too. that a million times over and over and over. And I said, bet your ass, Vince, you ain't seen the last Stone Cold Steve Austin. And the, I'm going to kill you, Vince. I'm going to fucking murder you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we kick off Raw here. It's a celebration. It's a celebration, bitches. We're, it's a c- 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 celebration. <laughs> celebration. <laughs> celebration. Screw you, we're celebrating. <laughs> screw, screw, screw. It is a, it's a festive atmosphere here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. But you know what? I'm fucking pissed off. I'm not happy. 
I've had enough. If, if Vince is a, Vince is in a, a jubilant mood since Fire and Stone Cold, but I, I'm not. And confetti and shit is falling down from the fucking ceiling. I'm surprised JR didn't go October 19, 1998, the, the worst, worst day, day of my <laughs> life. <laughs> he hasn't. It's got, it hasn't gotten too bad. He's only been fired once at this point. My favorite thing throughout the evening here is that Jerry Lawler is like, we have to arrest. Stone Cold Steve Austin, he has a gun. And JR's like, well, now hold on a now minute. Now he's not that's doing a, anything with that. That's not illegal to have, have a have firearm. A, you can have, he's a hunter. <laughs> he has two firearms and a compound bow, and he's that's a, not illegal. He's hunting. He's <laughs> in the Bradley arena with a gun and a compound bow and a knife. He's and just looking he's for some a, good gain. He held him hostage <laughs> backstage. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, we have Golga in the ring. Golga with way. Big Cartman. <laughs> he here. never made a Cartman that big before. No way. He has was... like a custom made Cartman. They That's sent that crazy. to him. Matt and Trey were big Golga guys. They must have sent it to him. Awesome. Uh, the Hardys are out there. Too cool before they were too cool out here. I think I they were too, Brad, too much. Bradshaw was a time traveler here. It looked like JBL here. I don't know what's going on with Bradshaw. <laughs> it looked like Chris Hero. Put... That's what it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, every mid card is here. It's a crazy group of people, and then The Rock shows up. He's just there. <laughs> There's so I many. I believe fucking they put The people. Rock out there. Me too. They didn't need to because he doesn't do anything. It's just headbangers, Kai and Tai, The Rock, <laughs> X Pac. <laughs> this is the whole roster. It felt like all the stars are here. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd, by the way, pouring balloons in the crowd is not a good idea. Pop, 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 yeah, pop, dude. Pop, pop. They are just popping the balloons the whole they segment, love it. man. Almost through the whole night, really. They were the black balloons that the grabber has, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. You're what right. the hell? That's right. Black confetti, too. So Commissioner Slaughter is here. Yes. Uh, Big booze for Commissioner Slaughter. A lot Slaughter. of booze for this piece of shit. And Tony Chimmel introduces the owner of the WWF, Mr. McMahon. And I was like, oh, uh, they're wheeling Vince out, the corporation, of course. No, Vince has an electric wheelchair. <laughs> Do- that was awesome. Dr. Evil style. <laughs> it's a WWF branded <laughs> wheelchair. Fucking awesome. The Stooges are here. Uh, Slaughter's here. Boss Man in a baklava is here. <laughs> yeah, dude, what the fuck? He looks like Peyton Manning. <laughs> <laughs> There's this also a crazy. cop with a dog here as well. Yeah, what's the drug dog doing here, man? What the, I don't know. What's he doing? What the dog doing? Man. Man. Yeah. I don't know at all. Vince has a lot to say. Vince, Vince yes. starts off here he, by guaranteeing that there will be a new champion come huh. the Survivor Series. Uh-oh, there's that word again. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that? I, I don't know. Well, he wanted to put emphasis so they could replay it guarantee, later on in the night. Guarantee. 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 Yeah. Uh, I like how he says the Survivor Series. The I don't Survivor know Series. why. And an undisputed WWF champion, 16 WWF superstars will compete in a one-night tournament to decide who will be the undisputed WWF champion. That is the plan here for... And this is... Is this Deadly Game? Deadly Game. Yeah. It's a deadly game. With the skull? It's the a mankind? deadly game. That's awesome. It is, yeah. It's the whole thing, yeah. This That's is awesome. one of the craziest WWF shows of all fucking time. Spoilers. Uh, it's where The Rock turns corporate. I own two copies of this on VHS. I own the original, and I own the silver border version. That's awesome. Yeah, this show is fucked up. Uh, they have Gilbert in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they do. How oh, good they? I don't know why they do sixteen people. I uh, that's for a, a one night tournament. That's crazy. Fucking most of business. them were like DQ throwouts or like sixty seconds long. Yeah. Or Horse shit. Two minute matches. Yeah. Like that most. <laughs> It's a crazy fucking night, man. It's a deadly game. It's a deadly game. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, who's in this fucking thing? Uh, Mankind, Mankind Gilbert, Gilbert, Al Snow, Jeff Jarrett, Shamrock's in it. Stone Cold, Boss Man, Regal, X Pac, Shamrock, Gold Dust, The Rock, Boss Man, Taker and Kane. Taker and Kane was automatically a quarterfinal match somehow. <laughs> Because it's a deadly, deadly game! game. Dude, yeah. it's a so, Regal and Xbox went eight minutes and ten seconds and a double count out. <laughs> <laughs> we booking. We booking out here. Oh, pretty good. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but The Rock beats Boss Man in three seconds. So I think that. it was DQ or something. I don't know. What, what do you heard. think of the British? <laughs> pretty good, pretty British. Pretty good, Brits. <laughs> So yeah, fucked up Deadly show. Game. And Vince says, and Vince uh, McMahon I love that show. Really, Firestone Cold last night. 
Well, for the benefit of you without pay-per-view <laughs> last night, let me repeat the words I said to Austin. Austin, screw you! You're fired! <laughs> screw you! Screw, screw, screw you! Screw you. <laughs> and and he said, oh, earlier does... there, was, there was asshole chance, and he said, if I am, I'm damn proud of it. <laughs> I am what I eat. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he said, how did Stone Cold take the news? Well, I'll show you. On the Titan Tron. He emphasizes Titan Tron. I guess they were just starting to push that because Austin says Titan Tron later as well. Uh, he said, someone from production will put up a freeze frame of Stone Cold's face. And he says, Austin was mumbling something about hunting season. And I didn't know what he meant until this morning where somebody told me Austin was indeed hunting, hunting for a job. <laughs> that is crazy, <laughs> that man. Is awesome. <laughs> Dude, so you watch the WAF, you should be WAF finding a job. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> he said, many of you are saying, what is it like to be Vince McMahon and have the balls of fire still cold? Many of you are saying this. I've been Dude, there's that a question. lot here. There's a lot in here that he says that I probably will never forget. I'll let you get to it. I think you got it. Uh, this morning, when I took a look in that mirror... <laughs> I said, all right, Vince McMahon, how'd you feel after firing Stone Cold? And it was better than sex <laughs> that I paid for. <laughs> 12? 7.5? So 7.5, bro. Hopefully you learned the lesson Stone, that Stone Cold learned last night. Hopefully no one in that ring will ever cross the boss because none of you are as big as Vince McMahon. And you know that 316 shirt that's going around? <laughs> yeah, you know that shirt. That's a big collector's item now. Because there's a new expression that's going to be sweeping the globe. McMahon 316. And McMahon 316 says, I got the brass to fire your ass. <laughs> Dude, fuck. he says, you see all these awesome 316 paraphernalia, <laughs> t-shirts, what have you? <laughs> he does. That is paraphernalia. Like, that he is the craziest what have you? shit I've ever heard. T-shirts, what you have you? You see all those awesome... <laughs> T-shirts, what have you? That's what we sell. <laughs> yeah, I, gotta, of course. I gotta insert what have you into my daily vernacular yeah, from should. now on. Yeah, uh, yeah. Why don't you give me that coffee or the the monster, what have you? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a crazy the monster line. or the paraphernalia, what have you? That's uh, awesome. So the Tron slowly turns to another shot of Austin, and Jr. says, ah, "Folks, that's not a freeze frame. That's a live <laughs> shot," and it shows Stone Cold. Picking up his fucking 38 special, his fucking gun. Dude, this was so sick. Holy it, fuck, had a scope on it? It changes from a picture to Steve Austin acting like he's a picture. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. He's just standing and sitting still, you're right? He's still as hell look, trying to look like the picture. And That's then Sarah so goes, sick. now wait a That's damn minute. That's not a fucking picture. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, he does. He brings out his big hunting rifle. Huge fucking gun with a scope on and everything and full camo. He is going hunting. Yeah, yeah I mean, pre-9-11 America is fucking mm. insane. Yeah, well, post-9-11 America is the same for us. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs his gun and he starts fucking wiping the scope off and shit, just hanging out in his car. And Jerry Lawler's like, mm, you got a hello. <laughs> Maybe we should do something about that. We should do something about that gun. Well, now hold on here, Jerry. Let's well, no, talk. He's, he's just hunting. No, he's, he's hunting. hunting in the parking lot of the arena that we're working at. Nowhere you near the woods. You saw all the deers running around in the back there. It's Stone Cold, you're looking for a good bear to fucking kill. Yeah, Jerry, him. now you look like a deer, don't you? Now why don't you go say hello, Jerry? To Stone how about Cold? you go back there and you take your fucking anaconda out and you fucking let him have that? <laughs> <laughs> and you see what happens with that gun. <laughs> Backstage, Vince asks <laughs> Peyton Manning to take care of Stone Cold Steve Austin. He says, "He says, what kind of gun was that?" He said, "It was a three sixteen, and he had a shotgun as well." A three. He said, three sixteen. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Vince says, "Boss man, please. My family's up in luxury box. Go get them out of town. And cameraman, you stay here. You gotta document this. We, you, you gotta see what we're gonna do." And Austin is polishing his gun in the truck, and JR said, it looks like he's cleaning his hunting weapon. He makes sure to emphasize that it is hunting weapon that is only for hunting. Uh, yeah, so this is, like, insane. He literally stalks the arena with a gun all night, and it keeps... <laughs> they have video footage of it, and they look at it, and it's... They have cameramen watching him. <laughs> they have to Many document guns. the whole thing. They have to document, There's a man. arsenal of guns in this vehicle. <laughs> well, anyways, Ken Shamrock versus X-Pac. Uh... <laughs> I see title, your yeah. European yeah. title. 
Yeah, Xbox is with China. Shamrock won the IC title last Monday in a tournament where he beat Xbox in the finals. Uh, last night on Heat, Shamrock smashed Triple H's knee in with a car door repeatedly. So that so Triple H is not here because of this. I think Triple H may have been shoot injured at the time as well. Uh, probably, yeah. yeah. Um, X-Pac won the Europeans Championship last night at the pay-per-view yes. Judgment Day. Uh, against Shamrock. Uh, against D'Lo Brown. D'Lo, sorry. Yes, D'Lo, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, D'Lo, he caught D'Lo Brown out of midair with an X-Factor. That was- Awesome, actually. They show it later in the Snickers Cruncher Fuck You Ass. <laughs> Yo, great <laughs> finish. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. They announced a time limit for this match. Do they do that a lot? Oh. They announced like a 20 minute Maybe time Maybe during this time they did. At some point they give it up, though. But yeah, I think that during this time they might have been doing that. Yeah. Well, earlier today, DX was hanging out with the Motley crew on their <laughs> bus. <laughs> Billy Gunn goes into the bus. He's like, oh, yeah, Motley Crue and DX in the bus. Hell, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, like, naming the stuff that he's doing in the promo. Can, I, can you yeah. say something when you're in there? Oh, yeah, Motley Crue, DX, we're on a bus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell Tommy yeah, Lee, Motley Crue, oh, yeah. Tommy Lee giving me a CD in the Talking Motley Crue bus. Talking to Tommy Lee, DX yeah. on a bus. He yeah. does name drop Tommy. Tommy Lee in the Motley Crue bus. <laughs> oh, look at the CD, Xbox. Oh, look at that. If you, are, if you are a wrestler that ever needs to cut a promo, just do that oh yeah i'm getting to the ring i'm wrestling tonight i'm wrestling tonight dpw on a bus (laughs) (laughs) xbox by the way goes to do his xbox taunt with the pyro and he almost does it to the wrong side of the building he turns around he goes oh that's where it is (laughs) uh so kent this match is weird ken shamrock hits some real fucked up suplexes to (laughs) xbox Just fuck you, man. Just annihilating them. All the while, they show a shot of the corporation backstage watching with the cop and the dog. <laughs> backstage, mid match, mid fucking move. Just here's Vance backstage. Um, no, no picture in picture or anything. Just cuts yeah, no, 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 no way. Backstage. Just cuts straight up. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no way. Uh, speaking of mid match, two cops just come down to the ring and arrest China. <laughs> because commentary because course, says. Listen, yes. th- th- ver- this is verbatim. She is in the middle of a sexual harassment lawsuit with Mark Henry. She's arrested now. That's okay. Everyone, she's just okay with that. She just gets arrested. They talk. They just arrest her and take her out mid match. Not even mid match. This is two moves in after we saw yeah. the dog I, and the cop. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> Xbox hits a spin kick on Ken Shamrock. <laughs> well, Jerry Lawler on commentary. This is the only time Jerry Lawler has ever been reasonable on commentary in his life. He says they, they should be arresting Austin, not China. And Jerry says, "Well, Austin hasn't broken any laws." That's what I'm <laughs> saying. The whole night, he ain't doing nothing. Free my well, man. <laughs> Says, he's got guns. And Jerry says, he's a hunter. Get it through your head. <laughs> yeah, he's right. He's a hunter. Right to bear arms, you know. Anyway, Jerry, Xbox goes about. for the Bronco Buster. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> There's a match going on? <laughs> so, so far tonight, we have Steve Austin outside lurking the building with at least two guns. China has at been least. arrested for sexual Three. harassment lawsuit with Mark Henry. Yes. And also, we have Xbox and Ken Shamrock <laughs> trying to work a match while and someone DX- is getting arrested. We're hanging out with Motley Crue. <laughs> that is true, On a bus, yeah. of course. Please don't forget the bus. So Bron- uh, Bronco yeah. Buster, Shamrock moves. He that has a- to suck, right? Yeah, like, I assume is there, like, so. I mean, I assume- in the turnbuckle with your gog of balls and ass. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I, I ain't be, doing that can't be shit. Fun. No way. You should try it out. Let me know how it is. He did that one time and like, tore his shit up, I think. Not only once, like an- Tony. Dude, twice. he tore his asshole to shreds. Yeah. <laughs> tore his up. asshole crazy style <laughs> At that, the first time I ain't doing that ever again fuck that move no way uh, hey brother gotta give the people what they want they want the Bronco <laughs> they Buster. want you to rip your ass off you will gape for this crowd <laughs> Xbox tries to hit the Bronco Buster Shamrock moves it's a belly to belly look good Shamrock then hits a fucking Frankensteiner he just runs him in the middle and just then fly, no one says go. anything and mankind walks down the ramp <laughs> <laughs> they don't pop for that because they're too busy popping for mankind and chanting for Zako. <laughs> mankind gets on the apron. Shamrock pulls him in. Then mankind hits the mandible claw. The referee is like, "Whoa! <laughs> now this, this is, is okay. crazy." This is, he's this just is looking fine. at the whole thing. He's staring at the whole thing. He's not distracted. He couldn't be any closer to him. He's practically <laughs> breathing Huge on them. Sako guy, this referee Mason. Now that's... not even Sako, just mandible. He didn't he was have like chanting Sako with him. Sako, Sako. 
<laughs> and then Shamrock belly the bellies him. No disqualification. No one cares. X Pac hits the X Factor and fucking wins. All right, dude. That's insane. I uh, that is this whole match is fucked up. We're ten minutes in the show. This is unbelievable. The whole start of the show has been fucked real bad. <laughs> uh, so backstage in the parking lot, China is now put into a car with sirens. This is red apparent, car. This is apparently a police car. <laughs> Those are the undercover cars, you know. You see them sitting undercover, on the side of the street. Yes, red Mitsubishi. <laughs> yes, of course. DX is of course telling China not to worry. X Pac is yelling, "What's the deal? You get out of there!" <laughs> bullshit. X Pac runs past Mick Foley after the match there. and runs backstage. Yeah, X Pac is somehow already back here. So the car drives off, and there's two detectives there, and they look over and they say. Oh, yo, isn't that Stone Cold Steve Austin? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's awesome. And they go over and say, oh, Stone Cold, what are you doing, man? I was, I'm doing some hunting. <laughs> and the detective said, doing, doing hunting a little deer. hunting in the middle of the town <laughs> during <laughs> Raw. This is crazy, man. He's texting out doing a little deer hunting. Uh, you know, how about you step out of the car? I was like, all right, sir. I said, oh, I see you got a side arm. And what is that? And Austin says, oh, it's a, you know, 38 special, just a little toy. You guys doing all right? This is crazy. <laughs> Nice little toy. <laughs> nice little toy. And the says, oh, yeah, that's a nice little toy. <laughs> they just agree with him. <laughs> that's a nice little toy. Oh, and they, they say, yeah, we're doing all right. Just watching some wrestling, some WWF. I was like, oh, yeah, it's pretty good. That's yeah, good, make sure, they make sure to say <laughs> WWF. Yeah, yeah. watch a little WWF. Yeah, WWF rules. WWF sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that, man. And uh, one of the things says, my son's a fan of yours. Mind if I get an autograph? I was like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Brett. Oh, how's Brett doing good? Doing good. Big fan of WWF. Nothing oh, wrong yeah, with okay. that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and he also signs an autograph for the other guy. And they just fucking leave. <laughs> they just fucking leave. Don't go with his guy. Yeah, can I get an autograph for Abby? Yeah, how's Abby doing? Oh, she's doing great. Uh, still going. That's good to hear. That's always good to hear. <laughs> It cuts to Vince backstage. Vince is yelling, there is a madman on the loose. <laughs> There's a madman on the loose. What kind of town is this? What the hell kind of cops are those? My God. <laughs> and he this is, is right. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing, nothing right about this. It's unbelievable. He's got my 38 special here. Shen, what's your son's name? <laughs> there is a cop in the room with Vince. Holy fuck. We go backstage again, and Vince is... Talking to this cop. He says, you go with your flea-ridden dog. Take him with you. And you go get him. You go arrest that SOB. Yeah, use a firearm if you have to. Go, just go do your job. The cop looks right at him. The cop says, I'm not, I, you know, I didn't come here to endanger my life. I, screw you. I'm out of here. That What? He, he just leaves. That is very... <laughs> one job. That your is one job is to be put into danger. <laughs> your job is to protect his life. That's he says, I'm not here to endanger my life. I'm crazy. out. Crazy. Gerald Briscoe says, I'll find him, Mr. McMahon. If it's a damn it, please, I'll need some protection. This but, is <laughs> insane. The cop literally I, said, I'm not dying tonight. I'm leaving. Fuck that, bro. Stone Cold's got guns. You He's think I'm going to go out there? He's hunting, though. He's not trying to kill anybody. <laughs> the Fuck cop you. literally said, "Not my problem. I'm out of here." Yeah, that no is way. very L. crazy. L Vince. Yeah. Uh, so we have Headbangers versus LOD 2000, of course, which is Aaron Drozdov and Animal, and Hawk is also their ringside. Hawk is there. No gimmick. Animal is there in gimmick with hair. <laughs> this was in 2000, LOD 2000 yet, right? It was, no, this is it LOD is, 2000. Yeah, 2000. Yes, it is. Sonny came in for LOD 2000. No, Sonny's that, already if, gone, I think. He came in and left already? Wow. It's nowhere yes, near 2000, by the way. No, it's not. <laughs> That's why well, I was confused. That's why 2000 was, was going to be fucking sweet. They were getting ready they for it. They were like revving up times. for it. Yeah. Yeah. Long Sonny would manage story. them until July. Uh, uh, amid rumors of backstage problems with Sable and an addiction to painkillers, as well as no show showing several appearances, and then she goes to ECW, and then we watched it. <laughs> well, I guess I guess there was Techno Team 2000 back in like the yeah. Well, everything 90s, you know, right? every yeah, 2000, 2000 was, was a new thing. Yeah, 2000 was sweet. Whoa. Dude, 2000 did end up being sweet too. Good on them for knowing that. Jr. just straight up says that on commentary. Yeah, well, you see Hawks ringside because you're recovering from a painkiller addiction. <laughs> That's uh, fucking all right. Up. Okay. <laughs> you see, this guy is a fucking drug addict That's and he's not crazy, fit to wrestle tonight. Bro. That's okay, crazy. man. Uh, the headbangers do the uh, the DX promo, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that shit. Uh, heavy metal music is proud to bring you its new WWF Tag Team Champions of the World. 
Monster Thrasher, the Headbangers. They are holding Toys R Us WWF tag titles here. That's awesome. <laughs> Were they? So and, was this like trying to like kill the Road Warriors type shit? Like just like kind of yes. Like it was like a spite. It was they were spite booking the the Road Warriors. I think I think yes. I think That's they what it felt like thought the road warriors fucking were WCW bullshit and they bullshit yeah. fuck you hog yeah. and fucking we want draws motherfucker yes. and fuck you crazy uh yeah i think that's exactly what it was because i mean they do this and then they go back to wcw don't they or they, they not do anything till tna because they're in tna for it i don't know if they a, go back to wcw or not i uh i'm not sure okay yeah yeah, yeah. Um, um yeah but i i think that's fucking i mean like they because uh, Hawk was, I don't know how real all that shit was, but I mean, I, I imagine at some point it was real to somebody, right? And then yeah. they just did it on TV and he falls off the Tron at some point as well. That's crazy. Yeah, that's insane, yeah. the falling off the Tron thing. They do not go back to WCW. They do go to All Japan, though, to team with Johnny Ace. Oh, wow. you know what? They also did something else in Japan to do like the Power Warrior or whatever. Oh um, my god, yeah, the Power did. Warrior. I, I forgot about the we Power Warrior. We watched that warrior. Dark Side of the Ring on them, I yes. think, and they had the Power Warrior stuff. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Raw is brought to you by Castrol Syntec. It's the active lubricant. Now, why did he say it like that? And why is that the advertisement for Castrol Syntec? What the fuck do you do with Castrol Syntec? Well, you can you lubricate. You shot? can use it with your <laughs> Mr. T's products. That was that felt like they a scam. <laughs> Mr. T's quality. Mr. T's sportswear product shirts. <laughs> That's basically the whole ad was Mr. T's shirts. <laughs> they got Mr. shirts, T's products, <laughs> and paraphernalia and the sword. What, <laughs> <laughs> what have you? <laughs> they have Castrol GTX, uh, Mr. T's, and. A lot of other stuff, what have you. Fuck you, man. Yeah, and if you're not down with the like headbangers, it. we got two words for you. You suck. <laughs> Mr. T sounds like a Shopify store saying. or something, you know? Like Mr. That. T's products definitely sounds like something you fucking get char upcharged fourteen ninety five for for each shirt, and right, they can't Mr. get you the T's shirt that is, they want. <laughs> that's the Amazon <laughs> shop shit. You look for the shirt you want, and then like you find Mr. T's instead, and it's yeah. right there. They it's sound like, like we got someone... the t-shirts at home. Can I get the Stone yeah, Cold shirt? Yeah, exactly. we got Mr. T's Fuck at home. <laughs> 3.4 rating or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> get a t-shirt. So the match starts. Mosh starts the match by moshing, of course, and Animal whoops his ass. Animal with the hair is fucked up, man. He looks like Killer Cross. <laughs> oh, no, Killer Cross with the hair? No. He looks fucking crazy with the hair, man. This is up, unbelievable. Man. Normal guy. Headbangers do a double team gourd buster to draws, and I think they were out to injure him with this because dude, it looks, looks like they fucked up. Dude, it looks like they dump him on his fucking head. Yeah, it was what definitely a spike. It was sweet. Yeah, it was awesome. And then Draws, Draws does the Draws bomb, sit out power bomb on Thrasher for two. Uh, JR says, it's hard to focus on this match with what's going on in the locker room. JR might as well just say, this is fucking horse shit, this match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, fuck this. This fucking sucks. <laughs> this is fucking I think he probably awesome. likes the Road Warriors and he's like, this is horse yeah, shit. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, look at what they're doing to my boys. This is unbelievable. <laughs> uh, Draws, I think after doing that move, uh, gets distracted by Hawk, who is on the outside. Well, you guessed it. Clapping, he claps and draws, gets distracted, and then gets rolled up by Thrasher, who grabs the tights and gets the win. And what an idiot you are, draws! What the fuck? <laughs> draws gets distracted by that animal, starts yelling at Hawk for this. Hawk is standing there in sunglasses and t-shirt, and not Hawk and not haircut. <laughs> <laughs> That's a normal dude hanging out, this man. Is, yeah, this is this is fucking Laurenitis right here. This is normal Joe Laurenitis. <laughs> Was Eric He's Angle? Out. <laughs> no, or was Animal Laurinaitis? I think Animal's Laurinaitis actually. Hawk was not a Laurinaitis. Sorry. Uh, so, uh, hell, headbangers, of course, celebrate with their Toys R Us WWF tag team titles after this dog shit match. That's WWF. They had to get a clue at this point, man. Well, shut up. They had to get a clue, bro. <laughs> we got Shintek. It's for the lubricant. We got Mr. T's. It's a Mr. shirt. Mr. T's. <laughs> uh, get your get your product. We got shirts. <laughs> <laughs> we go backstage. Uh, Patterson is going to go get Vince some coffee because he is fucking freaking out. 
and yeah. uh, everyone else also decides we are also going to get coffee. Yeah, coffee. Yeah, that sounds great. So they all leave. Vince says, I don't want one, man. He said, no, I'm going to get you a coffee. That, uh, you all can stay here. I'm going to go get the coffee. Briscoe also says, I'm going to go with you to get the coffee. Sergeant Slaughter also wants coffee. Everybody leaves to go get coffee. We do not see any of these three for the rest of the night. I don't know if it's ever explained where they go. <laughs> They, they went to, to get coffee. Or some. They went they, to wait for what, what, they had to, to walk all the way? It's like no, they, probably ordered, they probably ordered coffee from Malik, and then he just... Fucking Malik, it, so you then bitch. They re- then they had to reorder coffee, and then it was a whole thing. You it's like I thought they were uh, going to have Austin like hog tie them or something. Something crazy was going to happen, but nothing happens. They just fucking don't come back. Vince is fucking screaming, Where the, the hell way. are you going? Where are you going? He goes, where the hell are you going? He doesn't want them to leave because Stone Cold Steve Austin is going to shoot him in the head. He's going to kill him. With his gun. <laughs> <laughs> I have a gun. No, he's hunting. It's just a hunting rifle. He's just hunting. It, why don't you fucking grow up and take some of this lubricant? <laughs> Mankind walks in and brings Vince some snacks. There's a Well, there's a knock at the door. Vince is horrified. And Vince drives up to the door in his little electric wheelchair, <laughs> which is fucking hilarious. Special delivery. It's Mr. Sacco. Vinny's got a sweet tooth and nothing better than sweet time than sweets in a time like this. And Vince actually says, I'm, I'm happy to see you, Mankind. <laughs> this is like a first time ever, yeah. probably. And Mankind says, it's going to be a sleepover. And he says, I got your back, Vince. And Mr. Sacco says, I got your back, too. And I'm head of security. <laughs> <laughs> he says, he's head of security, Sheriff Sacco. <laughs> Great. Uh, Vince, by the way, at the end of this segment, as they're going towards the back of the room, is trying to maneuver this wheelchair. <laughs> he cannot figure and he's it, smashing it shit. It doesn't cut from the scene, so it's just him going, <laughs> <laughs> just smashing into shit. Oh, man, man's got a trash bag too, a big black trash bag, and he gives Vince candy corn, which is like the worst candy of all time. That well, I sucks. think candy corn is actually pretty delicious. And now, you know, on Halloween, I kind of like candy corn. So when I go to when I go trick or treating, I like to give me some candy corn and some. Fruit. When it's Easter, I eat candy corn. Yeah, fuck, <laughs> fuck you, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, JR? What I do to you? Well, Undertaker Town Hall. Undertaker has realigned himself with Paul Bear at the pay per view, uh, in I which shot Timberlake. Paul Bear came to the ring and hit Kane with a chair. <laughs> That's, okay, cool. Uh, Taker says, as you can plainly see, there has been a reconciliation. Made <laughs> Undertaker <laughs> all time bad promo guy. <laughs> Brother Paul has come Legendary home. To- bad <laughs> You're right. Which is crazy because I remember, <laughs> like, for some reason in my rose tinted glasses, I was like, Undertaker fucking kicked ass at talking. <laughs> He was fucking, he was an evil motherfucker. I feel so stupid. I hate Brother the Undertaker. Paul has I come home to lead like my ministry of darkness. <laughs> and I'm sure there's those that cannot understand because they have no vision. How could I align myself once more with such a despicable, evil, maniacal individual? <laughs> What Holy we have is shit, someone with man. vision, someone that truly understands the power of darkness. <laughs> you, no! s- you suck. Stop. You fucking suck. You suck, Taker. <laughs> Ministry Taker was bullshit. Why, man? I, I thought, thought he was so the whole time. He's ruining my. Time. I wish he would stop talking. Maybe that's why they put Paul Bear back with him. Shut up, this Taker. You guys shut the fuck up. Time, J- James, I publicly apologize for like a Ministry Taker. I'm sorry, dude. The the biker Taker promos are not that bad. No, no. Like, they they are. Well, I will take you to a desert. I mean, and yeah, <laughs> the yeah but they're like the tri- that Triple H no, one you're was right. brutal. You're, oh. The learning tree <laughs> thing. No, I He's agree. A, <laughs> but, turns out Taker's not a promo guy. Take, I, but I. That's fair. When he was not trying to be this guy, it wasn't. It wasn't as rough because he, didn't have to he think was just a much. dude. Yeah. yeah, he was just a dude. He didn't have to think as much. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Paul Bear says, uh, I'm not going to do Paul Bear voice. I'm going to blow my fucking head. I'll do it anyway. I used you, boy. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Wait a minute. What did Taker I, say here to end this? He says, those who not declare shall be declared. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Do, do your taxes. <laughs> Those who do not declare. <laughs> what do you That's mean? A, shall I, be I declared. Kane! Spike your hair. <laughs> Ever since you were a little child, I took care of you like a pet. Just for special occasion. 
Because you're stupid. <laughs> he's your son, for God's sake. <laughs> he's your son. He's your son, for God's sakes. You rotund demon. <laughs> it sounded like they dubbed that in. Say he's... that. <laughs> you turn your back on me twice. He's your son, for God's sake. You rotund demon. Fuck you, Take motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you, Jr. You, you pussy. Bitch. You get no bitches. <laughs> oh, Kane. Kane, you little dumb freak. I'm gonna roast you, Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Big L for you, Glenn. I got your ass for three minutes. <laughs> Taker's back. <laughs> you really want to know what happened the day you caught on fire? I set that fire. Holy fuck. Those the reason. Not declare. <laughs> the, dude, the reason why Taker says he set this fire is unbelievable. They couldn't come up with anything else. Taker's reason for setting this fucking house on fire to kill his brother was I set it because you were weak as a child. And you're weak now. <laughs> this is a legend. This is a legendary a turning point for Taker uh, and Kane's story. This story, yeah, it this, is this interweaving story. Because people of Kane. had no idea what happened to Kane up to this point, right? Uh, yeah, legendary this, turning point here. They thought Kane tried to burn his own family or whatever. That you was... were a baby, and you couldn't even wipe your own ass. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Dookie. This is just. <laughs> This is just the Broly story from DBZ where he was crying in his cell for so long. Dude, Undertaker killed his parents and deformed Kane because Kane was a bitch. That's right. <laughs> Except I'm his dad as well or something. He says only the strong shall survive. Oh, no. Those who do not no. declare. Oh, I, I do declare only the strong shall survive. <laughs> it's a doggy dog world. <laughs> Bone apple tea. <laughs> I burned our parents and you yes. and Idiot. others, what have you. <laughs> I burned our paraphernalia and shirts. <laughs> Kane, you call yourself the game. I don't play games. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kane's music hits, speaking of Kane, and Kane wheels a <laughs> casket. <laughs> onto the stage. No, where the fuck <laughs> did Kane get the casket? With the wheels. He wheels? built it himself. He it's, built it himself. It's huge. He knew how to... It's gigantic. Not only is the casket huge, but there's fucking... Ins it was fucking... It was fully furnished. <laughs> <laughs> Kane? Very nicely, actually. How the fuck? <laughs> I learned it from you, Dad. I watched you while you whooped my ass Except and when wiped he does, it. When he does talk, the thing doesn't work very well. So the voice box does time. not work well. I was like, oh, is this the first time they did it? No, it was not. They did it like uh, when you don't Kane, need that thing anymore. They, they, the first time I think he did it was when they did the, if I lose this match, I will set myself. On fire. Oh, you're right. yeah. uh, so Kane does the voice box gimmick <laughs> and says, You What's... and I tonight, casket match. And Big brother. pop. Huge <laughs> yeah, pop. Huge pop. And brother, you will rest in peace. <laughs> Undertaker's <laughs> ready to cut like a three three seg promo now, after that. On, brother. <laughs> <laughs> brother, I have a lot to say. <laughs> Do not declare that shall well, be declared. Well, Kane, the life of the wife will be ended <laughs> by the knife. <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh, fuck yeah. Take your sucks. Take your <laughs> shut up. Just fuck wrestle, you. man. So that the stage is set. Main event. Casket you match. Ton demon. You you wrote Ton Demon. <laughs> Casket <laughs> match. Taker versus Kane is the main event of this show. Keep that in mind. Good shit. That's a that's a big match. Huge it's match. The first ever casket match on TV. Is that right? Ever. Yeah, ever. Wow. All right. There you go. You wrote Ton Demon, bitch. I laughed so fucking hard because it sounds like they dubbed it in. They was like, go fucking go call him something fucking crazy. Backstage, mankind says Vince. <laughs> Should hire Austin and form their own clique <laughs> with the four of them. The, the four of us. Mankind, Vince, Austin, 
And Mr. Sucko! <laughs> <laughs> Vince said, this, this is a matter of principle. And Mankind said, I respect your moral fortitude. Let's play some games. <laughs> He's a big play, trash like bag games. of bullshit. He's got board games in his trash bag. Why does no one show up at DPW with a board game trash bag? Well, Mankind tries to get Vince to play a game of Twister in a wheelchair. <laughs> Mankind is playing it by himself. <laughs> and Vince, what the hell are you doing? You're not making me feel better. You want to play games at a time like this? Mankind said, you're you're being a major party pooper. And Vince, get down! <laughs> get out of our company! Get, get out of our company! I don't want to play games. I'm being threatened, <laughs> damn it. Get out, get out. I'm in danger. And you want to play games? Get the hell out of my life. <laughs> uh, so we get uh, Steve Blackman versus Jeff Jarrett. With? Deborah McMichael. I think making her debut. I don't know if it was debut. They brought her back. Well, what re-debut then, I guess. Is yeah, what I, I guess. Say. Yeah, she's I guess coming back from the... WCW. Yeah, where they did oh, the okay. same fucking gimmick. Where she was just <laughs> Jeff Jarrett's manager as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, last week, Shamrock tapped out Steve Blackman and eliminated him from the Intercontinental Title Tournament. And then Blue Blazer came out and attacked them both. <laughs> and Deborah comes out and Lawler says, "Look at the look on these people's faces." And I guess this is. Putting over Deborah and Jarrett. I wonder what the relationship here is like with Deborah McMichael and Jeff Jarrett. I, I imagine the McMichael part does not last. Deborah McMichael. McMichael's crazy. Mongo style. That is insane, man. <laughs> uh, Hell yeah, man. Jeff Jarrett hits the craziest low boy cross body off the top <laughs> I've ever seen. I've never seen someone not jump off the top rope. Like, it yeah. was insane. He just goes. Um, huge show your tits chant. Holy fuck. Yeah, that was fucking crazy. <laughs> We're not WCW anymore. Sorry about that. I read online that WWF created the term puppies so people wouldn't chant tits. Really? I don't know if that's true or not. But it worked. Yeah, I, I don't, believe it. Yeah, I don't think people would chant Maybe tits Maybe they should have come up with a way to have fans not chant that. No way. So anyways, we're going to make <laughs> puppies. <laughs> Well, you know, you, you, you mind your fucking business here, Sean. You right, know, well, like, yeah, you, like you're probably right. They probably just couldn't talk about her titties on commentary. That would work too. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like Jerry just, Lawler, just it would be a lot leave more. Leave alone. Jerry Lawler would probably. I'm sure they like tried it out or something. Like Jerry Lawler goes, "Oh, look at her tits." <laughs> you know, it's not as yeah. whimsical, I guess, as yeah. some of your puppies are. Oh, puppies. How about? How about titties? Just don't, just don't, just don't, <laughs> just don't talk call about them her, puppies. Yeah. How about just don't talk about her titties at all? Oh, uh, I mean, boobers. <laughs> you know, Jerry, you don't got to talk about them at all. Jerry, just Jerry, just leave it be. It's fine. You don't yeah, have to talk. Maybe with a hammer hammer. <laughs> <laughs> that would have changed wrestling. That would have changed wrestling. <laughs> would have changed wrestling forever, actually, I think. Wrestling would have been way different. You're right. I think With so. Hammer Hammer. <laughs> Hammer Hammer so. is crazy. That would, <laughs> that would have sold a lot of shirts. Uh, Blue Blazer is here. Uh, or what have you. Blue Blazer is <laughs> here and he attacks Steve Blackman. Dude, at one point, Jared goes for a flying nothing. I just want to note this. He goes for a flying nothing off the second and Blackman, like, sidekicks him while on his knees. <laughs> he's like, pit, like he's, he was a dog pissing. It was crazy looking. I don't know how he did dog that. Pissing. <laughs> dog pissing. Yeah. This is the only way I can describe it. Yeah, Blue Blazer comes out and hits a belly to belly on Steve Blackman <laughs> for the DQ. Now we get DQs. Yeah, I guess now we want the DQ when it's uh, when it works for the match. But uh, Jarrett is going to use the guitar on uh, Steve Blackman, I believe, in the ring. Of course. Yes. Uh, but Al Snow shows up with Head. Al? Yes. And listen to this. Head was distracted by Deborah's Hammerhammers, <laughs> and it caused <laughs> Al to move and then get cracked in the head by the, gu the guitar by Jarrett. The Head was distracted by Diddy's. It, it literally was like forcing its way out of Al Snow's hands. Going towards, towards <laughs> Deborah's tits. And which gave Jared enough time to realize what was going on and kabong Al Snow in the back of the head with a guitar. And he, there's no no gimmick here. He just no way. smashed he dies. the fuck yeah, out of him. Yeah, he's fucked. There you go. Figure out how to say titties some other way, please, I guess. So we've got, we can't do anything else. It has to be titties. Has, she just has titties. It has to be something She has else. titties and we just have to talk Get about them. We just have to. We just have to. <laughs> <laughs> Fast <Fashion laughs> segment. Vince hesitates to answer a phone that is ringing. 
The grabber is calling. <laughs> <laughs> the black phone is ringing. Uh, and then when he answers it, he hears a voice. It's old Stone Cold. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Stone Cold here. <laughs> Vince, your time's up, you sorry bastard. I'm coming to get you. That is the craziest, yeah. like... <laughs> That's a like real murderous. Like that's crazy. That, it definitely sounds like it's right from Black Phone. Your time's up, you sorry bastard. I'm coming to get you. And Vince just slowly hangs up and puts his head in his hands. It was awesome, actually. I they love have that. Some technology to play the phone over the entire arena too. I don't know how they did that, but uh, it's that it's wired. All the phones are wired here. Well, Jr. True. says, "Well, that was Stone Cold." No oh. way. <laughs> <laughs> your time is up, you sorry bastard. That was Stone Cold. Who okay. the hell was that calling that collect? Could Stone Cold ain't. <laughs> Stone Cold wouldn't be calling collect. I know that. <laughs> well, Vince calls his limo driver and he asks if he sees Steve Austin in the parking lot. I do not. I don't see him. Well, Vince says, oh God, he must be in the building then. Oh, oh shit. So Vince then tells the limo driver to drive up to the door. First he says, get out of the car and look. <laughs> 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 do you see Stone Cold? He's like, no, I don't see him. <laughs> We're that good. means he's in the building. <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, well, well, back the car up and, and, and leave the engine running and, and open the back door for me. And one more thing. When you see him, when you see me, if Austin shows up, you scream. And the guy says, all right. <laughs> okay, he I'll says, do that. okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. No problem. Um, so then Vince drives his WWF branded wheelchair <laughs> through the arena. The camera doors. follows him <laughs> one shot. <laughs> He's like going through a Fall Guys maze of bullshit trying to get into this fucking parking lot. JR says, Vince is escaping Milwaukee. Vince wheels down to the limo. He says, Austin's not around, right? Austin goes to get in the limo. I, Austin no clips. I don't even know where the fuck he was. I don't know how he got here. <laughs> I just saw he just, a compound bow appear and then him. And I was like, what Him the fuck? ducking into the limo and started whooping Vince's ass. I said, holy fuck. Vince tries to get back into his wheelchair and wheel away. Austin threatens the limo driver. He said, where the hell are you going? Your little wheelchair ain't working today. He throws Vince into the limo. <laughs> Vince <laughs> fucking starts driving away very slowly in his electric WWF branded wheelchair. And Austin says, freeze. Don't you move a muscle, son. I'm going to play with you for a little while and don't think you're getting away from Stone Cold. And he grabs his crossbow and he goes back in the building. And he says, shut up, you make me sick. <laughs> you make me sick to my stomach, you worthless bastard. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Austin in full camo, wheeling Vince back into the building, ramming him into shit along the way, <laughs> just smashing him into shit. My he leg, falls. My, my leg, my, my, my ankle. My ankle, my leg, you can't remember what hurts. <laughs> and then he wheels Vince in the locker room and closes the door behind him. All his shit. Well, WWF Slam of the Week brought to you by WWF Warzone on the Nintendo 64. Of course, the number one selling wrestling game on Nintendo 64 from Acclaim Sports. This is a lie. Game sucks. <laughs> it's that a, game is fucking I, balls. Dude, we talked about it. I think we talked about it when you guys Revenge were here on the like, trip. Yeah. I don't remember this game being on the N64. It was a PlayStation no. game to me. Okay, I rem I remember Warzone being on N64. The WCW ones we were talking about, I don't. Yeah, they all being on all N64. of them got ported over. Which I don't remember like, this on the N64. I just know the PlayStation. I only remember because I had it on N64. Actually, I had it on both. But yeah, this was. Uh... Yeah, did you like Warzone? No. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> yeah. I dude, well, it, my only memory of that game is every five seconds hitting the pause button and there was a there was like a gear sound when you hit pause the game so you could look yes. at the moves so it'd be like i do a move and then i go like pause it to look at the moves again the one so thing i liked about uh warzone was the cage match where fans would throw weapons in like a tv <laughs> you could hit gold dust with a tv i thought that was very cool other than that the game sucked i hated <laughs> Button fucking mash. Button yeah, combo dude. wrestling games are dog shit. Johnny Yuma loved those games, and Johnny Yuma, you could go to hell. That's all right? crazy, man. Yeah, that's wrong. You're wrong. I just remember Sorry, the wasn't brother. that the Warzone with the Ahmed Johnson promo where he couldn't hear what he said at the garage thing and the place. Juice made sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Step up to Bungie. <laughs> <laughs> they cut those out of the N64 version though. So Eat a reef. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that shit was awesome. Yeah, that shit was tremendous. Um, so. The Sand Ripper. 
<laughs> Xbox got his D Lo off the top rope with the X Factor with the Europeans Championship. That was awesome. That's Why are you saying it like week. that? That's, that's not what, that's not real Europeans. They didn't say that. Backstage segment. Austin has this <laughs> man if he's ever been hunting. In your life? Answer. <laughs> Vince says, you didn't even get a chance once. to answer. He didn't even say anything. <laughs> answer. <laughs> yeah, once. Austin says, yeah. What'd you kill? Vince says, nothing. Austin says, nothing. That's what I figured. And says, it was a safari. Austin says, safari? You mean lions and tigers and elephants? And what have you? And <laughs> what have you? <laughs> <laughs> Paraphernalia. Elephants. Says, I, I took pictures. Austin says, you think, Austin has a knife. <laughs> Austin is shining a blade while he's talking to him. You think this knife could handle an elephant? It's hurt. <laughs> and Vince says, no, nah, and it goes to if black. you smell. <laughs> What the fuck? This is crazy. <laughs> no. He doesn't get the answer. He says, you think you get this That's knife going to handle an elephant? If you smell. <laughs> this is a crazy ass version of the Rocks theme, by the way. I looked it up. It's called People's Champion by Jim Johnston. It's his 10th theme song, and he was just debuting it tonight, and it's changed in one week. <laughs> to yeah, it's yeah. like most people recognize. to it or something. Yeah, yeah I don't know what's going on here. It's on the Uncaged yeah. album if you guys want to listen to it, but uh, I think, did we do a Rock theme song seg before we did we do talk, a rock theme song about this one and talked about this yeah. it is fucking weird it's not the biggie the theme song like though that. the biggie ones <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't answer what's your favorite rock theme answer <laughs> the rock versus d'lo brown is tonight last week d'lo slammed the rock on the outside you can only tell by this zoomed in spotlighted shot of d'lo slamming the rock <laughs> on the outside during someone else's match i don't, know. I don't even know what's going on i don't know what happened happened in like the next i guess six or seven months really <laughs> but the rock here and then the rock in like six or seven months these are not the same dude no it's completely different i mean, I, after, I mean you probably look at what survivor he survivor series dude it's yeah that's different. what i was just about to say tony you can look at him after survivor series and it's a completely different it's, human being that's correct and that's only like a month away yeah and yeah. like his yeah, confidence right. is like I don't know. Through the roof. Yeah. yeah th this, this is not the same rock. His confidence is not here in this one. D'Lo is awesome here, by the way. He is a fucking, he is a loud, he's a talk shit and motherfucker. I love this shit, he's man. He's a talk shit and what have you, motherfucker. <laughs> Doing paraphernalia and what have you. <laughs> <laughs> he says, you smell what I'm cooking? And then gets clotheslined. <laughs> D'Lo yells, you suck. And then scoop slams rock, does his crazy ass leg drop, turns on the crowd and says, who sucks now? And and the entire crowd stands up and starts yelling at him. <laughs> He's the best. All the rock shit is like punch, 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 DDT. <laughs> Simone Drop, the, yeah. which they haven't named Simone Drop yet. Jared calls it all fall away slam. Uh, I love that when the rock hits the people's elbow in this one. Dude. He looks towards the fans. They lose their fucking mind to edit it too. That was they the like, biggest pop of the night. Yeah. Unbelievable. They're like shitting their pants over it. And I'm like, wow, like. This must be like, and they're, they were talking about it in the commentary is like, it's new too. Like this, I don't know how long he's been using it at this point, but it's like, I, I feel like we watched the 97 Raw and he was like just starting to do it. So maybe it's been around for a, a little bit here, but yeah, huge fucking pop. Rock hits the people's elbow. D'Lo gets right up and clotheslines him. <laughs> yeah, it's like not a not a big deal. No it's way. Just, it's, it's, a it's a chest protector. It's a chest protector. That's what they said to it. Oh, the... D'Lo's chest protector blocked most of the people's elbow. I was like, oh, that's pretty smart. Well, D'Lo jumps off the second and gets caught with rock bottom. Dude, D'Lo has got to stop jumping off these fucking ropes, man. Stop it, D'Lo. It just happened caught. last night at Judgment Day, bro. <laughs> well, how do you learn, bro? Fuck. So Mark Henry tries to attack Rock afterwards. No way. Dude, D'Lo is already back up to his feet after getting hit by the Rock Bottom and the People's Elbow. <laughs> fuck you, man. And he fucking, they put the boots to fucking the Rock, man. Yeah, fuck you. And Mark Henry's splashing the shit out of him. The refs yeah, get in the his ring. Arms. Yeah, D'Lo splashes him, or Mark Henry splashes him again. <laughs> this is fucking yells, insane. Hey, Rock, who laid his back on who? And then does the head wiggle. <laughs> Uh, so we go backstage after that. Austin asks Vince if he wants to find out how sharp this knife is. Yeah. Vince doesn't say anything. Austin stands up and Vince goes, no, no. I said, relax, man. You thought I was going to stick you with this shiny knife into your guts? You're done with that. I thought you were. I'm going to take your ass tonight. And when you go, you'll go just like that. It's that simple. 
<laughs> he is threatening to murder Vince McMahon on live TV. There's cops all around the building. We're watching it in in real time. So, uh, I don't really understand what happened here. Does it? Sh- Maybe I missed it. Does Austin Commercial? shoot the compound bow, or does it not show that part? It does not show that part. It no, fades to is, black before it shoots, if, and then it yeah, comes we go to back commercial. from commercial. I to thought black. I missed something because yeah. I saw no, the yeah. the arrow in the picture, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. "Did he shoot this?" No, yeah, the, was, the I, issue is here is that they cut these segments off early to go to commercial every time. It's like, very quick. It, go it to did black it before, too. yeah, it fades yeah. to black, and then they come back to the to whatever the so, bit is or whatever. Austin events are still backstage. Vince says, "I hope you're having fun." I was like, I'm having a blast. This is a great time. This is a swell time for Steve Austin. <laughs> Which is <laughs> crazy. Sentence. Swell time. This is a swell time for Steve Austin. Vince said, you'll never get away with this. And Austin says, get away with what? I said, I was going hunting. I got a bow to prove it. The thing is, I didn't get deer. I got a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> That's, and to make things even better, it's time for a Tiger Ollie Sing Town Hall. The Tiger Ollie Sing Town Hall is insane, by the way. This is awesome. <laughs> so Tiger Ollie Sing's in the ring, and he's talking to the crowd, and you have Babu cooking glizzies on a grill. On a grill with with no charcoal, no flame, no there's, fire. There's tools on the grill. <laughs> this is insane. The grill is, as, is not cooking, and the gr- glizzies are not cooking, and Tiger Ali Singh is in the a gigantic suit. <laughs> the suit is way too big for him. So NBA big. draft suit, man. Such a big suit. Yeah, you're right. Such a big suit. You know suit. little rascals where they stand on top of each other and put the suit on? That's <laughs> yeah, what it looked like yeah. here. That's exactly right. Tiger Ali Singh is shitting on America. America saying, uh, in my country, I'm known as something of a gourmet. I eat only the finest meals and delicacies. You Americans eat the most horrible things. Meat from cans, the rump of a cow, and pink intestines. And JR, <laughs> JR is so angry at this <laughs> that JR says, this guy can go back home and make a living doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> That's, Good. That's, that's, so, awesome. that's real anger. That is crazy, man. <laughs> you make a living doing something else. <laughs> Tiger Ali says, says, My manservant Babu is quite a chef, but even he doesn't want to prepare these meals because they are so disgusting. And tonight, I will pay $500 cash to anyone of you that is able to come into this ring and swallow Babu's kielabasa. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> What the fuck? It comes to a bunch of fans raising their hands. I want to swallow the babu's kielbasa <laughs> hole swallow it whole. He, he says let me see a show of hands is there anyone here that is able to swallow babu's kielbasa hole <laughs> babu this is, this is straight with top of Howard Stern by the way it they is had, they had it's the movie swallowing the whole yeah, time yeah yeah <laughs> So, Babu picked the American peasant, and he looks around very nervously, and he points to the crowd, very close to JR, and Lawler says, he's pointing at you, JR, and JR says, well, he's a blithering idiot. He's an idiot, it's crazy. (laughs) He's a blithering idiot. I am not swallowing nothing. No way. Imagine JR gets up, all right, he was pouring at me, I'm going to go swallow. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, I do, I do enjoy myself, uh, Kiyobasha. Wow. (laughs) And I would like a fire hard, if JR had gotten to the the ring and down that kielbasa I think his life as well as mine would have went on an entirely different trajectory he wouldn't have had a life anymore <laughs> he had a new over. job as a kielbasa salesman <laughs> <laughs> it's the same noise, but he got lit on fire by Kane. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Give my money. Give my fucking money. <laughs> And give me another one of those. Just kill my son. Oh, so Tiger Ollie, so, Tiger Ollie Singh's whole career was just Million Dollar Man, right? That was what he was doing here? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly right. what it was. Cool. So a woman comes over the barricade with her hammer hammers out. And <laughs> yeah, she gets in the ring. The she gets in the ring. And she just swallows this John Hole. That. <laughs> She just joint swallows that show X3 style. I need, me, I need me somebody like X3. this, man. <laughs> Blink. And 
<laughs> just pulls it right back out. And Tiger Ali immediately said, pay the woman. And the, you can tell because the woman is reacting to it. The cameraman is like, do it, do it again. You got to yeah, do it again. Do it again. Should I do it again? She's like, do it again. Camera. The camera is horny. And Babu is throwing <laughs> money on the floor. The woman does it again. They almost miss it. Godfather comes out. Holy fuck. This segment just went to legendary status. <laughs> <laughs> Godfather says, that seems to be an old American custom. Or should I say, a pimping custom <laughs> that I need to hip you to. You see, once a hoe takes on a pimp, she pays that pimp for the rest of her life. And guess what? That right there, that used to be one of my hoes. That is crazy. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> I like how Godfather was just sitting he in the back watching the monitor. Hey, that's one of my hoes. That's what one of my hoes. That's one of my hoes. <laughs> I got to get paid. What the hell? And as you can tell by what she said, by what she did, man, she was a good hoe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lawler says, she looked familiar to you, JR? <laughs> Godfather says, take it as a lesson learned, but her brother got to get paid. And Tiger Ali Singh is not happy. He says, I want an amateur, not a professional. This is the craziest segment of all time. Tiger God Ali Singh God. is bass as hell. This is crazy. He says, I only like that amateur shit. Get this professional out of here. <laughs> Godfather says, I'll put it to you in a way that even you can understand. What you j paid here five dollars hours for, you could have got a whole night for a hell of a lot cheaper. <laughs> That's insane. I mean, it got worked. That's crazy. Tiger, then, Tiger Ali Singh then throws Babu at Godfather and then jumps him and then Godfather scoop slams Babu and the refs break up the fight and the hoe goes away with fire the hours hoe and a deep throated worked. this shit two Twice. times full style no reflex just that was awesome man wow that's I hope she got to shoot to have the five hundred dollars I imagine not but she deserved every bit no, of that that was probably her pay for doing the little gimmick there. I wonder why we that keep chatting for. She got days. paid as much as one of the boys for a match for deep throwing a glizzy. <laughs> Dude, absolutely. Christopher Daniels was back there working heat, and he got paid less That's than that. That's crazy, <laughs> man. <laughs> he was about to be the higher power. Christopher Daniels getting paid less. Christopher than Daniels and Mike Modest worked their ass off on <laughs> fucking Modest. shotgun, and they got paid dog shit compared to that. That's crazy, man. Holy I shit! I wonder why they keep chatting for titties. I can't figure it out. You're a fucking idiot, man. That is crazy. <laughs> Uh, we go backstage. Steve Austin pushes Vince over to a picture with a big ass <laughs> arrow in it. You see this? Take a look at this, son. You let you see this? You got bad eyesight? It's an arrow shot. I thought it was like him just showing off the hockey player on the wall, but it was a fucking big arrow, arrow in, in it. it. <laughs> yeah. He said, You remind me of a goddamn baby. <laughs> I, th that's I don't think crazy. that's what he said. That's what I wrote, though. That's I don't know if that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> you seen that movie Deliverance? It's pig or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. a guy. He said, you seen that movie Deliverance? You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he says, what? he asked him to squeal like a pig. Is that this segment? The squeal like a yes, pig Yes, he one? says, yeah, you remember that part where he made that guy squeal? That's what I'd like you to do right now. <laughs> this is fucked up. This is crazy. Yeah. Stone Cold's doing this. I wonder, was one. Stone Cold says, I was wondering if you could squeal like a pig for me. And I think you can. Squeal for me. You understand me? Squeal for me, son. I said, squeal like a pig. Or and I will says, shoot you in the head with my compound bow. <laughs> I will blow you into fucking next week. No, Vince wait. Says, he's, just, he's just hunting. He's, he's just hunting. He's just, well, he is just hunting right now. It <laughs> says, oink, 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 oink. And I say, is that the best you can do? No, yeah, no. You, you know, you know <laughs> let, me, let me get my bow. And Vince starts going, oink, 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 he even say it wait no more, man. I don't even know what he's saying. <laughs> also, is a real fucking weird fucker on this show. I want, I would like you to squeal like a pig for me. <laughs> 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 rah, 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 rah. The you hell's that, buddy? You could have paid less than $5 for this. <laughs> you could have got I'm a whole night for a hell of a lot cheaper. A whole night for <laughs> I'd like you to squeal for me. You look like a goddamn baby. <laughs> Steve Dude. Austin doing all of his fetishes. <laughs> Steve Austin talks to Vince about his favorite Family Guy episode. <laughs> where Stewie breaks Brian's <laughs> legs <laughs> and keeps him in a house. Oh my God, he does do that next, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, we come he does. back. This is crazy, man. We come back as Austin and Vince. Austin says, 
You seen the movie Deliverance? <laughs> oh, well, we covered that already. <laughs> That's already what he says. That. We already did that bit. <laughs> we did that. He says, you seen the movie Misery? You know, Kathy Bates, she puts a two by four between his legs and he gets a science hammer and broke his damn legs. Well, I was wondering if, if you could do that. <laughs> Vince says, help, help, fuck, go me, <laughs> fucking hell. Oz says, look at that. You got a two by four between your legs already, son. Now I just got to find a sledgehammer. This is crazy. This is a horror movie. Vince is just yelling help. Oz says, shut up. You're making too much damn noise there, son. Let me tape you up. <laughs> <laughs> he tapes his mouth shut. He tapes. He starts walking around him, taping up his body. He says, "You're a man of your red word, right? You're not going anywhere. Everything's gonna be okay. You trust me? You just stay right there." And he leaves to find a sledgehammer. <laughs> this is so some psychotic sucks. shit. Where's the cops? Where are the cops? Help! Their fans Help! are so cold. <laughs> Their Help fans me. are so cold. That's it. They got autographs. No cops at all. Brett nowhere. Where's shit. Slaughter. Brett, Brett and Abby. They're getting caught. Brett and Abby are watching this show right now. Where's Slaughter and they, Patterson and Briscoe? Remember getting Malik coffee, and the coffee dumbass. and the thing, and they had to get it again. You remember the Fucking whole thing? Hell, it's the man. coffee thing. Damn. I guess so. Well, we get to go to the next banger match of the evening. Mankind versus <laughs> <laughs> Val Venus. With Terry Runnels, of course. Uh, Val they show Venus is when... still here in 98. <laughs> Get, out of, Get out of our company! Man, what the fuck are you doing is he here? Doing here? <laughs> what do you got for us, man? You got nothing. Help! You got nothing. Help! <laughs> <laughs> so there's a recap of earlier today with Mankind and Shamrock. Last night, Terry Ronalds tried to interfere in Val versus Goldust. Uh, Val almost bumped Terry off the apron. The ref got distracted by this, and Goldust kicked Val in the dick and balls, which Val is still selling here today. And Val gets on the mic and says, You know something? A lot of wrestlers have been to Hollywood. When the Val that Big Valboski auditioned for the movie Anaconda, I said, Take a look at this snake coming at ya. And a star was on the rise. He's got a big cock. Get thing. out of our company! <laughs> What are you fuck doing up. here? Get out, you fucker! Get the fuck out of here! He at least did the he at least did the kitchen sink Irish whip gimmick, which is in yeah, the games, right. and I like that. I like that move a lot. All right, so God does low blow Val Venus and his balls hurt. So mankind <laughs> and Val Venus decide to start the match with a crisscross ropes fucking comedy spot, and Val Venus's balls hurt from running. So mankind then targets Val Venus's balls. <laughs> this is wrestling, baby. As you would. Yeah. Mankind As then would. hits the double underhook DDT and gets Mr. Sacco out from his balls. Well, don't don't ignore the part where Val I does am. the grind over I Mankind. Am ignoring <laughs> it. No, Man you gotta talk about the group of fans in the towels that spell Valboski on their chest. Yeah, I don't even JR know if that was spelled right. It was not. <laughs> <laughs> JR says their mommies and daddies must be proud of them and you know what we're glad to hear <laughs> Mankind is a double on the DT gets Mr. Sacco out from his balls and then Mankind uses Mr. Sacco but guess what Ken Shamrock is here yes. yes he is the ref is distracted by Terry Shamrock is here with a chair of course and smashes it into Mankind's knee and then Val Venus covers Mankind and Val <laughs> Venus beats Mankind with an, his knee hurts, so I, I cannot kick out of this. I can't get out of this. What the? I just can't. So, mankind man was, I think last month, Mankind was thrown off the helmet. <laughs> he can't get out, but he can roll out of the ring and go right after Ken Shamrock. He can do that. <laughs> and attack him through the crowd. <laughs> he jumps him. He jumps him and throws him into the stairs and throws him into the crowd while Val Venus' music is playing. This was immediate, and does, like three seconds after he, he was already brawling yes. in the crowd. Yeah. It does but a three-minute crowd brawl where he beats him with a chair. But he couldn't kick out. Crowd. But he couldn't kick out. No. I can't. Oh, it just hurt too much. Ree, <laughs> ree. <laughs> so Goldust then comes up on the Tron. His music plays and Terry and Val are in the ring. And he says that he is going to keep shattering Val Venus's dreams. Uh, which is his balls, of course. And as you can see, Val Venus is still holding his balls because they hurt. Well, that is psychology 101, brother. Well, then Terry and whispers something into Val Venus's ears, and he is not happy. Do you remember what this is? She is pregnant. She is pregnant, and Val is not happy about this at all. Because, because his balls hurt. Well, of course. Because he's still on his ball. That's the time that you whisper it into the ear? Right there? Right in the ring? Right there? Right after the, <laughs> right after the Goldust promo, yeah. Well, just, oh, I right. just reminded her. 
I got something to tell you about this dude Gold Dust. I forgot about that until just now. He's got that fucking horse meat ding dong. <laughs> 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 he's got that kielbasa on him that, that's what really <laughs> sipped off me just off the he's rails got a, he's got horse meat. I'm out of here oh my god he's got that he's, he's coming out of here with that horse meat ding dong <laughs> <laughs> they call you the big show <laughs> and you could have got that really for less. That's what really set him off, man. He got the fuck out yeah. of there. He said, "No yeah, way." He said, no he's got way. that shmeat. He said, got that. Yes, I'm the big Valboski oh, spelled whatever way you want to spell it, and I got the dong on me, man. I got that anaconda. Yeah, but he's got that dingaling on him. And oh my <laughs> god, that boy's got that hang, the yeah. hanger right there. That's crazy. <laughs> he's got the fucking oh, damn. Dude. Wow, fucking hell, bro. Uh, so. Backstage, Steve Austin <laughs> is still he promises Vince that he is going to carry out his plans to murder him tonight. <laughs> you will die at my hands. He says, I always wanted to know how it really worked. Oh. I'm not sure. You know, I'm not here to make you suffer physical pain. But last night you fired me in front of the world and you felt real good about that, don't you? I got way bigger plans for you tonight and you can rest your bottom dollar that I'm going to carry them out. And Vince tries to talk and oh, he says, shut up. You're completely th pathetic. <laughs> and you won't feel a thing. Don't you worry about that. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> You're going to die tonight. You will get it. You will fucking. I am going to blow you to smithery, son. All right. So now that we have, <laughs> we know that uh, Vince is going to die tonight. Austin says, why don't we bet? Well, don't worry. We're still here with them. <laughs> why don't we bet on who will win the casket match tonight? This is crazy. Austin says, you know, I want you to relax a little bit. Let's watch some TV here, Sean. He goes to turn the TV on. You ready to watch some TV with Stone Cold? That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to watch some TV with Stone Cold? You think he does that at his house? You ready, you ready to turn on TV with Stone Cold? Hey, you Denver, remember that you old show? Watch some TV? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, kids, why don't you chuck around TV here, Sean? <laughs> you remember that old show, You Bet Your Life? Finn says, yeah. Well, we're going to play a little game here. Kane and Taker about to fight here. Uh, you're going to pick either Kane or The Undertaker. Vince says, I, I don't want to choose anybody. Vince says, Austin says, oh, yeah, well, you're going to have to. We're going to have fun. <laughs> Austin, Vince says, I, I, Kane, Kane, I'll go fucking Kane. Austin says, yeah, well, if Kane wins, we'll do things the easy way. Now, if there's any other outcome in the match, which is a crazy fucking foreshadowing <laughs> to the fucking finish of this match. <laughs> if there's any other outcome in this match, we're going to do things the hard way. The Stone Cold Steve Austin way. Which, really, Austin just set us up for a fucked up fucking rest of this Austin night here, man. Austin booked a crazy ass match here, yeah. That's fucked up, Stone Cold. I don't know why you did that to us, man. So, uh, we go to Kane versus Undertaker, the first casket match on TV. Fashioned. Uh, <laughs> fabricated. Nicely done casket Kane by Kane. Kane made this. Kane did this in his spare time. I did this. This is good. <laughs> Kane is a beast. <laughs> he has a lot of I skills. I got that horse schmeat as well. <laughs> <laughs> you got the schmeat? Kane That's got That's what shmeet? they said in the movies. See oh, no buddy. evil. No, they didn't, buddy. Let me tell well, you what they you're said right in the about movie. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Vince wanted him to have the hugest dong ever, and they gave him a shitty little dick. That that no sucks. way. <laughs> they said, fuck you, Vince. <laughs> They're right on that one. The uh, uh, Survivor Series brought to you by Nestle Crunch. The Survivor Series brought to you by Nestle Crunch is just more fun to munch. Is that true, Tony? Answer. Answer. <laughs> well, you see... Uh, if you yeah. smell... <laughs> I actually really like Nestle Crunch. Me I too. Used to, I used to get those all underrated. the time. I don't get them so much anymore. I don't think I've had I, one in years. They uh, they used to sell Nestle Crunch like bunch or something at like the theaters. It'd be like Crunch oh, Bunch. I think oh, they still do. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, those are. I think that's still a thing. Good. Yeah, you can get thirty-eight bars of Nestle Crunch right now on Amazon for forty-one dollars, dude. Or James, hold on, you can get. This can't be right. Oh, okay, you can get a case of ten, thirty-six in each for four hundred dollars, James. Oh, well, that's a good deal. I wouldn't pass yeah, that that's up. A good deal. You All the boys are going to get Nestle Crunch at the next show. <laughs> 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 they had Bunch of Crunch? That's what you're thinking of. I yeah, Bunch of Crunch was crunch. crazy. They had Crunch White, which was white chocolate instead of milk chocolate. They had Crunch Ice Cream Bars. They just uh, called it Crunch White? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, they also had Crunch Dark Sticks. <laughs> 
That's crazy, man. <laughs> crunch Dark and Bunch of Crunch Dark. Crunch Mocha. Yo Crunch, which was yogurt. What the fuck? <laughs> Crunchettes are bite-sized pieces of crunch. <laughs> it's all the same shit. It's like going to Taco Bell, man. You're going to get the meat, man. It don't matter how you get it. You're going to get it. Their slogans were scrunchious, music to your mouth, munch now, munch some later, and for the kid in you. Whatever you fucking said is not listed in the slogans. Really? Just more yeah. fun to munch or whatever? Munch now, munch later. Okay, JR, you that... lied. Yeah, but JR would always go, it's fruity, delicious, oh, it's fruity, fruity, fruity. Yeah, they probably told him to do that shit. Yeah, you're right. I always like how they did the uh, the ads and they pull back so you can see the arena. I always love that, too. You can see, like, fucking the Hardy Boys making their entrance. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. That was awesome. Now, we're talking about Nestle Crunch here because it is way more interesting than this fucking match. <laughs> this is, uh... This sucks. Kane, Taker is throwing leg kicks at Kane. He's a crazy <laughs> bastard. <laughs> the Ministry Undertaker throwing his le fucking day one leg kicks at Kane's leg. Someone throws popcorn in the ring. They're already over this They're shit. They're already done. They hate this. Kane drags Taker out of the ring. They're both standing in the furnished casket fighting, throwing hands. Taker DDT Kane's in the casket. And then the they lower the gasket lid for dude, some reason. This and is the most both in there. Tom and Jerry ass spot I've ever seen, man. <laughs> dude, you're right. They just needed like smoke and a piano falling sound. <laughs> the uh. casket is just getting destroyed from the inside as these two fucking brothers have live torrid sex in a casket. <laughs> Dude, Kane kicks out the bottom of it. The lid comes up. I don't think we're supposed to see this because it shows Undertaker just throwing his big stupid body at the wall of this They're casket. not even punching each other. They're just punching the casket. <laughs> They're just so, throwing themselves at the They're casket. probably having a good ass time in there, man. Just yeah. Well, the caskets are rocking. Don't come and knock. Having sex brother. on Raw. <laughs> Okay, so they just break the shit out of this. They get out of the casket. It's destroyed. It's the smithereens now. Kane goes after Paul Bearer, who runs up the ramp. Taker chases Kane up the ramp, smashes him with a steel chair. Taker and Paul Bearer walk to the back. Kane sits up, grabs a chair, walks to the back. The fans boo, and that's it. You don't what ever see them again. What the fuck? That's all you get? No I contest. I thought they'd come back or something. I thought they'd, they'd brawl their back I, yeah, and come back Yeah, for like finish it backstage or something. You know what I mean? Like, like set Kane on fire. Some yeah, some shit. Or they no. do something fucked up to Kane backstage. No, you get none of that. You get nothing. Fuck no you, man. What do you fucking way, man. You get, you wanted what? Kane Undertaker to have a shit. clean finish? No way. Yeah, go to hell and die. Is actually what they want you to do. Well, they go backstage and Steve Austin says, it's time to go to hell and die, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> Austin says, hell son, you lose. <laughs> that means Stone Cold's got to do what he's got to do, and you got to come with me for me to do it. So Austin starts wheeling Vince through the hallway. They cut to commentary for a long time. Lawler and JR are arguing on commentary. Lawler says, when you get fired, you, you just go and get another job. <laughs> Which is that, That's fair. the most 1998-ass <laughs> gimmick I heard. You just go get another job. You just have just another job. Just go get a job, just man. Just get a job. That, that's like when someone talks to us about YouTube. Just get a job for just it. Just go get a yeah, job. Yeah, really? Why don't you just do some work? JR, this is where JR finally starts to come to the realization that Stone Cold is going to kill somebody tonight. JR says, yeah, you know, I'm worried about it. I don't want him to do something we'd regret for the rest of our lives, because I know he wouldn't have any regrets. And Lawler keeps trying to get word from backstage, but no one is answering. And all the while, someone is holding up a poster behind Lawler, not concerned at all, holding up a big poster of Sable in a wet t-shirt with her boobies showing. Sweet. Ooh. So Austin wheels Vince onto the stage finally, and they wheels him down in the ring. And he makes Vince crawl up onto the apron and steals his wheelchair. <laughs> Vince is on his knees in the ring and Austin's laughing at him. And Austin says, look at you. You were bragging and throwing some kind of party without Stone Cold Steve Austin. Go, you know, throw, go throw the party up on the Titan Tron so I can check it out myself. <laughs> so they, throw the, they show the promo from earlier. And Austin says, you think you're so cocky. Look at you, Vince. You're pathetic. You on your knees crying in front of the world, you make me sick. And I'll tell you what. Austin grabs the fucking crossbow 
and he throws it down near Vince. He says, I got a little something I want you to read because it'll bring a few more tears to your eyes. And I'll tell you where you're going when the devil reads that. Hell, that some bitch is going to be pretty sp- 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 pissed off himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> what the I'm fuck happened John there? One more time. <laughs> a little sp- 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 line. <laughs> and I only got one more thing to do. Look at the screen. I want Vince's picture on the screen. Your eyes are fixing to pop out of the front of your head and Vince starts fucking crying. They're showing Dude, him on the Tron. a huge pop for the crowd. Yeah, I want to see his eyes yeah, pop Yeah, fucking out kill this son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> if you want Vince's eyes to pop out of the front of his head, give me hell yeah. And the cr- all the fans scream hell yeah. This is a- Austin pulls out a real gun. He pulls out a gun. The fans are fucking sitting there waiting oh, for man. a fucking murder. He's, he's holding up the air blood. too, baby. Hell yeah. He's still hunting. He, he's, he's still hunting. He's going hunting. Austin pulls out a gun. Vince goes cross-eyed. I'm dying laughing. Austin slowly puts the gun to his head. He pulls the trigger. And the bang 316 flag pops out. And Vince is fucking shaking. He's got the craziest look on his fucking face. JR says, it's a toy. Austin was armed with a toy. I told you, Lala, you fucking dumb bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Austin says, you got to remember Vince. It wasn't that Stone Cold that screwed Vince McMahon. It was Vince McMahon that screwed Vince McMahon. And Bret Hart says, Goldberg sucked. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) And Austin says, I think you got a little problem there. You know, we got another t-shirt on the way paraphernalia. <laughs> we'll have you. As, as we will have it. And the t-shirt might say, McMahon 316 says, I just pissed my pants. And then they hit Stone Cold's theme. And then he just hits Vince with a stunner. And there's no... Why is Austin should still be arrested here? Also, he's not, still- he's not employed with the WF. Why do they play his theme music? Uh, fuck you, that's why. Fuck you. Uh, Austin hits him with a stunner. JR says, McMahon, Mr. McMahon wet himself for goodness sake. Austin helps Vince up and then hits him with another stunner. <laughs> and then the show's over. <laughs> That's it. That's awesome. What Fuck the you, hell? This Stone Cold, this is like, most of, I mean, I, a lot of time you could probably reason like, okay, Stone Cold, you were fucking out of pocket for that one. This is the most probably out of pocket Austin episode ever. He should have been fucking for life sentence here, no, man. It was, it was a toy gun. He was just going hunting, you know? Yeah, you fucking well, dumbass we, was pervert. The rifle, uh, was the rifle a toy? The crossbow was real crossbow yeah, was with a real- the real bow. <laughs> Yeah, I saw him do it, or yeah. he didn't see him do it, but you know it was in there. Vince saw him do it. That's the, crazy, the rifle, man. I love the right. Like the cops never saw the handgun; <laughs> they saw the rifle and the crossbow. I think this is awesome. Cool. My uh, double <laughs> double stunners, fucking gets him to piss his drawers in the center of the ring. Man, there's pee everywhere. Pissing all over the place, Sheriff. Have you ever awesome. seen Deliverance? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see this thing at the end? The extra attitude? Yes. Which is. I've never seen that. They yeah, did they that put before that, in a couple they, episodes. They do that on some of them, yeah. They'll do like, and you, honestly, most of the time, it's Stone Cold fucking around drinking beer yeah, and yeah. It's whatever he, stunner. Yeah, they used to put them on DVDs and stuff too. It's just like whatever Stone Cold would do I after that. I think there's the a show. DVD of these, Tony. Yeah, just to send the crowd home happy. Yeah, it's just awesome being Austin doing bullshit. Uh, all, this is yeah. that Tri-Moon shit, What man. is he doing the extra attitude? Oh, in the extra attitude at the end, he steps on Vince McMahon with one foot, <laughs> gives a taunt to one side of the crowd, <laughs> puts his foot back on him, gives a taunt to the other side of the crowd. He leaves. Vince is crying in the ring. This dude just come pick him up in the wheelchair. <laughs> they wheel, they <laughs> take his wheelchair up the ramp. at him. Yeah, they throw drinks at him. There's <laughs> fucking drinks all over him. He's crying. Ah, He's pit, ah, piss on his drawers. Busy <laughs> little fans crying. It would have it would have made the whole thing. It would have been full circle if they would have brought him a coffee and then he <laughs> slaps it. Oh out of my hand. god, Mister McMahon, I got your coffee. I'm sorry that about that. It was best. a long line. It, yeah, that yeah, that would have been sweet. That been fucking, this was a cry fucking... as it goes off air. That's fucking yeah. classic. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't do that instead as the ending, but I guess Austin getting the stunner and pop and whatever, it doesn't matter. What more do you need after that? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, this, I agree. This was a fun fucking episode, though, boys. I like this. Yeah, um, matches were complete bullshit. Oh, they the were entire, fucking night. whatever. Just not even one to really call him on, just bullshit all night. Yeah, no. it really was. Wait, but like, <laughs> I like this better than the Austin CEO episode. Like, Yeah, the CEO one was dry. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. This, this, is, this is the worst Raw episode of all time is really not. That's even, out of pocket. Meltzer, Meltzer was like in the pocket. trenches. Who knows what else was going on? You know, he had to watch WCW at the time, too. He was what fucking was pissed. Nitro's probably going crazy or something. They had some luchador. Oh, wait, luchadors didn't show up. Luchadors <laughs> did not make it to the show. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that was, I'll take a quick look here. Let's see. Oh, no, the luchadors didn't make it to the show. Saturn beat Kenny Chaos. Uh, Damien, they put all of them in the same match. Damien, El Dandy, Hector Garza, and Psychosis beat Chavo, Zeke Lope, LeBarque, and Lismark Jr. Canyon beat Scott Putsky. Finley beat British Bulldog. Wrath beat Tokyo Magnum. Benoit and Malenko beat Alex Wright and Disco Inferno. None of these matches go over five minutes, by the way, except the Lucha match. Go and eat them, too. Chris Jericho beat DDP by DQ to retain the TV title. Kidman and v, uh, Kidman, Kidman and Mysterio ended at a time limit draw at 12.23. <laughs> 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 Scott Hall and Scott Norton and Stevie Ray beat Nash, Conan, and Lex Luger. Uh, to oh, that was Canyon earlier, not Conan. Sorry, uh, and I know uh, that end. Oh, sorry, that they, they didn't beat him. That was a no contest. I don't, and Bret Hart beat Sting by DQ to retain the U.S. title. Oh, Bret Hart and Sting versus this. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Meltzer was over it at this point. I'm sure. <laughs> I bet <laughs> he was waiting for wrestling to die so he could do something else. 